So where are we going today? How about the Norris Geyser Basin? Why is this area so great? It's the part of Yellowstone where three different faults all intersect. So there's a lot of geothermal activity going on here. I'm talking geysers, plural. Here's a tip for you. Go early in the morning. The cold morning air, when it hits the hot steam from the geysers, makes the plumes much more dramatic. In some areas of the basin, there are some beautiful patches of color. You might wonder where that comes from. It's kind of a scientific reason, but in layman's terms, the waters of Norris are acidic instead of alkaline, which allows for a different bacterial thermophile to coexist among the mineral oxides. So, with all the steam and the rocks and the pools of goo, this area really looks like it might have looked a million years ago. Except for the wooden pathway the park built for you to walk on. I like the Norris Geyser Basin because it's not your typical great outdoors kind of nature. Trees and forests and mountains and babbling brooks are all good, but there's only about a thousand geysers in the world, and half of them exist in Yellowstone. When you go to the Norris Geyser Basin, you are experiencing something very rare in nature. Something very rare indeed. So why go? If you like wooden walkways, I have not seen a better wooden walkway than at the Norris Geyser Basin. Level, ample room for two-way walking. Really spectacular. If you're okay with pungent aromas, thanks to all that great geothermal stuff, you get a lot of geothermal smells, and they're not the best. Apple pie doesn't seem to be one of the odors coming out of the earth these days. Or if you want to see the great outdoors in its bubbling prehistoric state. This is as close as you'll get to feeling like a dinosaur. Well, that's it for now. So until next time, keep traveling.